The West Kelowna Warriors and Vernon Vipers were the only game in the BCHL on Wednesday night, but they had an action-packed affair, and it started early in the game with Isaiah Norland. 4-11 in his second goal of the season from Brendan Nelson to Michael Salandra. Fed back along the left side and pushed to the front of the net. In the right circle, it was Norland who put it home. Second goal of the year for the Warrior. Blue liner in the Clarkson University commit. The first of a three-point night for Norland. Put the Warriors up 1-0 early in the hockey game. A power play was able to give West Kelowna a 2-0 lead. At 11.52, Johannes Lockberg right in the slot after a chance for Felix Caron. Went off of the stick of a Viper defender in Connor Elliott. It is... Lockberg is there to finish off the play. Uh, Lockberg gets the marker at 11.52, his fourth of the season. A power play goal from Felix Caron and Isaiah Norlin. And the Warriors jumped ahead by a 2-0 score in the opening period. And a good start for West Kelowna against the Viper team that had won six games in a row coming into the night. But before the period came to an end, at 19.44, it's Julian Fashionelli who gets his fifth of the season from Luke Buss and Jordan Palmer. Fashionelli going to the net to the backhand, just able to squeeze it past Rourke. Appleby, second period action, a terrific move from Isaiah Norlin, and a chance for Frederick Duchesne's. He's got goals in back-to-back -back games. Duchesne's from the left wing side, able to take that pass from Norlin, walk into the left circle, and able to beat David through a screen in front. Second goal of the year from Duchesne's. Norlin draws the assist. Nelson picks up his second helper of the hockey game, and the Warriors out ahead by a 3-1 to one score. But again, towards the end of the period, and a game that the Warriors took seven penalties for power plays for the Vipers. It's Eric Pastro on the power play with his fifth of the season from Hank Cleaves and Anthony Klish as a redirection on a Cleaves shot at the front of the net and a net rebound opportunity for Pastro to put it home. And then the third period, a five, a four on four that was turned to a five on four with the net empty, a tip play in front, and it's Georgius Stavrianius who was able to to find the back of the net. His second goal of the season from Luke Buss and Lyndon Barrett redirecting that puck in and Stavrianius at 18.36 tied the game. So off to overtime we go. Rorick Appleby a good save in overtime off Isaac Tremblay. The best chance of the period for Isaiah Norlin off the post on a rush up ice as he walked through the middle of the ice took the shot past the glove side of Ethan David but it rings iron and back the other way the Vipers come Julian Fashionelli in front for Connor Elliott couldn't make the play but the puck sat up at the side of the goal and on the backhand or off the side of the net and Elliott gets back to it and he's able to brush it past the goaltender in Appleby. Connor Elliott gets the goal, the overtime winner, his first goal of the season from Julian Fashionelli, just 57 seconds into the extra period and Vernon gets the extra point and picks up the win. The Vipers win their seventh game in a row and hand the Warriors their first overtime loss of the season. 4-3 the final score. The Vipers defeat the Warriors on Wednesday night. The two teams will do it all over again Friday in Vernon.